Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Now, friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is pretty epic, so let me show you what we got. Friends, today, Power Plastics Entertainment has shared a wicked cool heavy infantry fighting vehicle. Oh my gosh. Check it out. Amazing notes. I'll shut those off for just a moment. And let's do a quick spin around of this wicked creation. Once again, Power Plastics Entertainment. You are leaving no detail untouched. Wow. So let's turn on the notes for the ADAE 200 Rhino and learn a little more about this sweet beast. Friends, here we have the history and info of the ADAE 200. So the Acadian Domestic and Export 200 Rhino is a heavy infantry fighting vehicle developed by the Acadian company Quantum Defense. It is built on the chassis of the ET-200B main battle tank with an extended hull and a new lighter turret. So far as customers have been the Acadian Army, Algeria, Ukraine, and the UAE. The HIFV saw combat in Ukraine against T-80 main battle tanks, where one Rhino excelled and destroyed three T-80 BMVs and disabled nine drones. Wow! Let's check out some fun facts of the ADAE-200. The turret is on sale as its own option, being eligible to modify the T series of tanks and the Leopard 1 and 2. Five Rhinos along with 12 AC LTV-12s were able to wipe out an insurgency caused by rebels in the eastern part of Acadia. It has confirmed to have used its radar in combat to detonate illegally smuggled rebel javelin anti-tank guided missiles mid-air before making contact. That's a sweet feature. And its turret was also tested on the AT-200 main battle tank hull to no export interest from the Acadian government or public. Now let's dive into some features of the Rhino Heavy Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This is the composite armor front with massive protection of 1,790 millimeters. Whoa! The 115 millimeter 2A90 rifled gun of the ADAE 200 has shells that can penetrate 410 millimeters at 2 kilometers, allowing it to penetrate the side armor of some main battle tanks. That's pretty wicked. Beside it, we have a 30mm auto cannon, and right here we have a 7.62mm machine gun. The max protection on the turret at the front is 570mm, and on both sides we've got smoke grenade launchers. The Rhino has 4th generation thermal sight with ATT ballistic computer, all from the ET-200B main battle tank. Right here we've got a panoramic sight with third generation thermals. If we spin around, this is the Commander's Cupola. And right here we have the 272S 160mm impact anti-vehicle guided missile with 1800mm of penetration at 4 kilometers. Check it out, you can also find a link to find that design in Tankercad. This advanced radar allows the Rhino to engage electronic warfare with this radar especially being effective against drones. It can also serve as a anti-anti-tank guided missile APS detecting and sabotaging them causing them to explode in mid-air before reaching the vehicle. That's so cool. Right here we have got the 12.7 millimeter remote weapon system with second generation thermals. Nice touch. The rear compartment of the vehicle can hold 10 men and the rear door is resistant to 14 and millimeter rounds. As we spin around we find the APS systems are mounted all around the turret allowing for full 360 degree protection against anti-tank guided missiles and tank shells. We also have Aegis Heavy ERA blocks providing high protection against heat and APF SDS projectiles. 
I am gonna shut off these notes quick and let's take one more look around at the sweet Rhino heavy infantry fighting vehicle. Oh my goodness, what a wicked cool creation. Once again, Power Plastic Entertainments. Love the effort you put into making these designs and it's so cool you take time to share them with us. Friends, remember in Tinkercad, if you ever make something awesome, like say you complete my F1 car tutorial, if you make an epic version, you can share it with me so easily. You click this button, generate a link, copy that link, and you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options don't work for you, don't forget you can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories, and below that, lessons for absolute beginners. And extra bonus friends is down here, I have got a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or share link, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to recommend the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, don't forget we have a link to the Designer Showcase. This is a designer directory with tons of amazing designers. When you click on the user's profile, you can see all of their amazing designs. Of course, if it's one of my designs, there is likely a tutorial at the top. It also makes my day if you take time to give it a reaction. I do, of course, also want to remind you that it is super cool to sort by recent so you can see what the users have been creating lately. Finally, friends, don't forget if you click up here on the gallery, you can see the latest staff favorites and then finally click on recent to see what people are making right now of course if you think something is amazing make sure you click on it and give it a reaction friends as i wrap up this episode of tinkercad tv i just want to say thanks again to power plastics entertainment oh my goodness wicked cool creations and it's so cool that you take time to share them on tinkercad tv Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.